Hi everyone, Power to the Buster here. What's been up? I know I've been missing. Yes, yes, I've been missing. But I'm back. Been super busy uh, working all this other stuff. And yeah, I found this crash, which I really can't say I found because I actually went to GameStop to find it. So, because I got this little thing I got going now where I want to collect every video game mascot. So I have the Sonic, I have a Mario. I'm going to get the Spyro, even though that's not a mascot, technically, I guess, to uh, Skylanders. I don't know. <clears throat> and now Crash. So, uh, I guess Crash technically would be part of the big three, you know, Sony, Nintendo, Sega. So, but anyway, I'm rambling. <laughs> yeah, uh got this guy and you won't believe how much i paid for him okay it was on clearance for 40 so i'm actually going with the mindset that i'm going to be paying 25 maybe 30 dollars for it <clears throat> and nope i went seen it it was the only one they had in stock and the uh, gamestop cashier guy uh walked up was like yeah, you know everything is, I want to say, 70% off today. So this was already 40 and I got it for 10 bucks. So, <clears throat> yeah. First GameStop I went to didn't have any at all. Um, this was the second one because there's three of them near me. And I got this from the second one. The third one uh, didn't have any. I think I got the Hello Neighbor from there. I don't know. I'll have to show you guys that one. I uh, I don't think I'm open or anything. I just got it for whatever reason. I don't know, but <laughs> yeah. So this guy's awesome, and I am not disappointed with my purchase. Uh, this articulation here is fine, even though it barely moves. If it moved more, you could get rid of this articulation. His head. Because this looks so weird to me. Looked weird in the early images and it still looks weird. But yeah, you guys probably seen this guy review like 12 times over. Got the articulated eyebrows. They're on like little ball joints. Let's see if you guys can see it here. See? It's like pegged in. So, and yes, my nails are dirty. Oh, well, there. There you go. <laughs> Take it right off. But yeah, they're on a little ball. And I don't know if the uh, ball... Yeah, these move also. So... Yeah, I mean, it's a little weird. <laughs> the ball jointed uh, eyebrows, but it's there. And again, from the front, it looks fine. It looks like crash from the front. Just the side, it gets a little weird because it's not all one piece. It's... You know, the color's a little bit brighter here and darker. But all in all, it looks good. So, yeah, um, his arms, uh, they don't go up as much as I would like. See, rotate and goes up to about right here. Let me stop it from getting blurry. Goes up to about right here. So, this is as far out as it's going. Uh, got the joints I like. <clears throat> and you also have hinge and swivel here. So probably most NECA figures I hear you got to heat up. I never do. I just, my thing is if I break it, oh well. I, I couldn't really say that with this. Because there was no other ones to exchange it for if it was to happen. So that would have been a big oopsie on my part. But. It all worked out. So yeah, that's Crash. And again, he has the swivel up here, which should be one piece. It should just swivel at the hips. I mean, me personally, I would prefer it that way. And I think, yeah, it rocks. That's why he was a little bit linked. Uh, his legs go out about this far. I mean, he has articulation, just kind of limited see like but the 
better movement is in the foot. Because they got hinge and pivot and his knee. See, it's kind of hard to I'll show you guys first. But yeah, it's a little hard to do. Um, see, this is about as far as you're going to get. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much <laughs> it. <laughs> the paint is nice and clean and pretty good all out. Brown, like wash, brownish, and some dark brown and green uh, wash to the gloves. The fingers, it has actually pretty soft. <clears throat> but yeah, that's Crash. And then, got this beast. The box, again, was huge. I was not expecting this to be that big. Uh, it has a rubber band right here. Well, actually, it's more of a piece of plastic, but it's really rubbery. Like a rubber band, but it's not a rubber band. If, if it was to break, you could actually replace this with a rubber band. And these part turn and rotate. I just had them tilted that way because there's no peg hole or anything to put it on a flight stand. And, yeah. But, yeah, these are squared off. And I got my old resource ones out, which is round instead of square. And I'm not really too sure which is the correct design because it's been a while. I mean, I see the motor thing here, but then there's this one. I don't know if this is based on a redesign and this is the original or how that's going. But, <laughs> but there are two totally different hoverboards. Ultimately, this has a peg uh, to peg them on and actually keep them there. I don't have a figure anymore. Uh, actually, I have it. It's broken half and it's at my mom's house. And if I'm not even sure if it's still there. So, yeah, I guess I don't have it anymore. <clears throat> As for this thing, the paint is nice and clean. This is more of a look like a sticker decal. I don't know if you guys can see that. See, like got the line as if it was a sticker placed over it. But still pretty cool. I like the paint on this thing too. I mean, it, it doesn't have as much going on as this one. See, look at all the motor details and everything. So this is pretty sweet. I actually thought this one was going to look like this, but sized up and completely wrong. This one is more simple. Uh, it has scuff marks as if it's been used and rusty or whatever or scraped and that looks pretty good I mean, all in all, it looks great still The back has these orange paint in it for I'm assuming flame effect uh, Nothing with that part and nothing at the bottom. So yeah, no peg hole to keep them standing on it or anything It's just what you see is what you see and again, I purposely went after this one because I know there was, which, again, I'm glad that it was cheaper. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm glad this was cheaper um, at the $10 price point, but the one that was $10 originally or 15 I don't recall the original price. I'm not even sure what this original price was because, again, clearance price was 10 bucks. I mean, 40 bucks, and I got it for 10 So... Uh, hmm. yeah, the jetpack one, the one that come with the extra mass is unnecessary for me. Uh, again, I got, I wanted this one because he had the, uh, hoverboard and my original one had the hoverboard. So it was a no brainer to go with this version. And here is the mask, which looked different from the one that the... That's coming out now. I can see he has holes up here where the original resource crash could put his fingers through and hold on to it. So that was kind of neat. I don't think this one could do that, though. I think his finger is too big. I mean, he could hold it. <clears throat> Still. Again, I mean, 
I honestly was going to get rid of these accessories, but I might, I'm going to keep the mask at least. I'm going to keep the mask and the uh, jewel because <laughs> there is none right now for these uh, NECA ones. So here's the green jaded jewel. Let's get this to clear up. And man, I had these since forever. And they just been sitting in like a box of random mix match of toys that I had. Speaking of toys, you guys check out Toy Fair. <sighs> yep, and there you go, hold it. <clears throat> Hasbro is killing it with the Power Rangers. Oh my god. <clears throat> I'm I'm getting choked up over here. They is doing a brand justice. Helmetless heads and helmeted heads. I pre-ordered Laura Zed, uh, which I have to correct my address because <laughs> I hit, um, pretty much I hit, uh, submit order and my address was wrong by one number. So have to fix that pre-ordered Goldar, which comes out by my birthday in October and pre-order the Ghostbusters Transformers car, which looks awesome also. Um, man, I'm going to be broke this year, guys. But at least that's more videos for me to make. Uh, so yeah, the Marvel Legends. Uh, I have a whole list of who I have to get. Uh, Colossus, Juggernaut, Nightcrawler. Uh, there was no storm there. That's literally the only one that would be missing out of the X-Men that I need. Um, done with Diamond Select because there's no Ghostbusters, so there's no reason. Unless I pick up the Bruce Lee, which I might do. I don't know. I might um, go for that. <clears throat> uh, some of the Savage Land figures, the lion -O and Mumra, I'm going to get, which they had at GameStop. Tom McFarlane is knocking it out the park right now. He's just taking all the brands <laughs> and doing them just as a, from what I hear. Uh, so, um, I'm going to get some of his stuff. I've seen a no scan from Fortnite, uh, so I'm going to get that one. And yeah. Oh, also, I have this TNT box. So, and these stickers. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt. They're coming off. Pretty easy. But, yeah. These been on there since I was a kid. <clears throat> and what is in there, might you ask? Uh, if I can remember how to open it, I will show you. Let me see. Okay, this side. Yeah, I have an arrow pointing to which way is up. <laughs> so that's something I almost forgot. I wonder if the thing come apart completely. Yeah, it does. Okay, so the arrow was showing up and there was a wumper fruit. But yeah, these, these things are pretty cool. Let me move this guy back because he is making me nervous. I'm going to just leave that there. But yeah. The box comes apart, which honestly I forgot it did that. <laughs> so, yeah, um, and yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, you know what? I can actually set this on here, get a little bit of height, and this thing got some weight to it. The hoverboard has a bit of weight. You move the camera up. And yep, there you have it. So yeah, that's Crash. And yeah, back to me ranting about the Toy Fair. <laughs> the uh, even a basic figure of Power Rangers looked it sick. The uh, Beast Morphers, man, I gotta get those. Uh, could you imagine? Besides the Lightning Collection, if we got every Ranger in the basic figure form with that uh, amount of articulation. That'd be crazy. 
But what I don't really care for is there are four figures in this first wave from what I've seen. And Marvel Legends have like six, six plus per wave. We technically would need that to get figures out to us faster. Because at this rate, <clears throat> I'm going to be an old man by the time they complete <laughs> every team. Like old, old man. So, yeah. Tell me what you guys think about Toy Fair, this figure. Uh, do you guys own it? Do you guys still have your resource ones? Do you have any of the accessories? Are you planning on buying this guy if you don't have him? Are you even a Crash Bandicoot fan? Because me, personally, um, so-so. Uh, I played the games, but I'm not diehard. Like, I, I'm more Sonic than Crash and Mario than Crash. So, yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And also, tell me what you guys thought about Toy Fair. Who would you like and who disappointed? And I will catch you guys in the next one. Power to the Buster, out.